So this is Laura Eskade. She's just returned from tour with uh, Kanye West and Jay-Z on the Watch the Throne. Uh, that's the, the dual headlining tour. Uh, yes, dual headlining tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Laura played on the album as well. And I think this, you've, this is an ongoing working relationship with Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and this is playing and tech. Yeah, I'm not um, playing during the live show, but on the, the album I've played and I'm um, doing all the music programming and vocal effects for the tour. Right, okay. So yeah. basically in charge of the... All the backing tracks, all the music and the vocal effects during the show. Right, so. wow. So yeah. big responsibility. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and uh, so as a musician then, you're, you're obviously an accomplished violinist. And uh, did you start on the violin? I did. I started on the violin and, okay. and uh, played and went to school for violin performance and then started to get onto all this music tech nerdery stuff, as I like <laughs> to call it. So. And also in the studio as well and, and production? Yes, I'm doing a lot of production and composition mm -hmm. uh, for various you know, commercial aspects and for artists as well. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of, and then so you're producing your own music? Yes. As well as producing other produ people's music. Right, yeah. Other people too. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the performance that we just saw then, you were actually using your violin, but then you were looping it live mm -hmm. and then manipulating the sound of the instantaneously. Yes, yeah. yes, I'm using the looper in Ableton and I'm also using a sidechain compressor so that's mm -hmm. where that sort of movement was coming from and then I have some other effects that I use on the violin as well. Mm -hmm. So, so let's, well, let's have a little tour around, okay. around cool. your equipment then. So, obviously MacBook Pro is the kind of main brain of the system. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. let's see, so this being the machine micro, uh -huh. yeah, are you a fan of the micro? Oh. You know I am, I'm getting to know it, because uh, I usually use the larger one in my studio at home, but right. you know, uh, Native Instruments was kind enough to, to let me use one of these machine micros for the tour, and mm -hmm. I've been really enjoying it. Um, mm -hmm. It's quite a bit smaller, but it still mm -hmm. has a lot of the same functionality. So I really, really, really like it. And they're the same pads, because these pads are like best in the business, really, aren't they, for uh, they're They're pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I sh you could probably tell that I was getting a lot of different velocities going on with mm -hmm. the note repeats and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So uh, yeah, I'm a really big fan of it. And then, so the Wii controller then, so you're using that mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. a MIDI controller then? Yes. Uh, yes. And then that's using the accelerometer in there as a... Well, uh, during my live show, I, I don't really use the accelerometer. I use it for for other things, but uh, I'm just mostly using the buttons to control stutter, okay. stutter edit, which is uh, Isotope's product. So yeah, that's sort yeah, of yeah. like the stuttering that you heard. I see. Yeah. yeah so okay. it's, it's kind of fun for fills and stuff like yeah. in between, you know, Great. to segue into a different part of a song. Yeah, and it's very very visual, and and that's mm -hmm. uh, that makes it a lot more fun, doesn't it? I used to have a. Uh, a, a MIDI glove that was like a PlayStation glove that I was using a couple of years ago and people were like, oh, wow, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. But now it's just, it, you can't use it. it. There's no software that can, you know, okay. that hasn't been updated. Mm -hmm. So so I sort of moved on to the Wii and it's wireless and mm -hmm. it's cool. I, I like to actually, when I'm performing, I like to pass out the Wiis to people in the audience. Oh, really? And they can play with me so they can manipulate wow. my sounds. And so I have one with drum sounds and yeah. then one with the effects. And uh, sometimes I have them yeah. control my violin effects as well. So that's Cool, fun. that's taking audience participation to, yeah, uh, to the yeah. max. Yeah, it's cool. Fantastic. Um, yeah. So moving on then here, what on earth is this device? This is a Livid Instruments OM64 controller. Uh, it's been modified ah. by my friend and cohort, Henry Strange. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, this siding is called the Strange Attractor, and it's part of a, a bigger project that he's got going on. Ah. But uh, there's only a couple of these in the world, mm -hmm. and um, you know the LEDs do move. And then it's a, the, the wood top is also custom. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's kind of a fun little toy here. I can show you how it uh, can change color. I can, you know, Ooh, make very it nice. go through lots of different colors here. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a fun fun toy. I mean, this is just for the visuals, obviously. Yeah. But uh, the control surface, though, is basically a Ableton Live. That's that rep represents the the grid view of Ableton. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, it sure does. And mm -hmm. then I've just you know. I basically designed, uh, had someone write me a, a custom script for this so that it does what I want it to do with, with, with Ableton Live. Okay. So, um, yeah. And speaking of Ableton Live, you were one of the first certified trainers of Ableton I Live? I was, yeah. yeah. Uh, I worked for Ableton uh, in 2007, 2008 and, mm -hmm. you know, have a very good relationship with them and mm -hmm. obviously love the software and it's, yeah, it's a big part of my life, so. And do you use Ableton then when you're doing the tech? 
for other shows? Uh, yes, everything. Right. So Kanye mm -hmm. West, then he, he would. Yep. And yeah, all the shows that I've done. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Bon Iver show. Mm -hmm. uh, d you know, did vocal effects and keyboard uh, patches right. in in uh, in Ableton Live and. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, Herbie Hancock. Really? Uh, Herbie's, Herbie's wow. using one of these um, 64s. And really? His show is very improvisational, but I introduced uh -huh. him to this piece of gear. Oh, and, wow. Um, so he's using that and looping and changing keys. That we've got, it, you know, his set is very interesting. So yeah. foot controllers and all sorts he's of things. He's always been a musician who's embraced technology. Exactly. And yeah, working with him mm. is just, yeah, just wow. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Very inspiring. Very I inspiring bet. person. Wow. And he's just been around and seen it all and <laughs> done it all. And he's still just trying to push forward and do the most forward thinking stuff so ah, that's great yeah. so, so I mean Ableton live is it, in many ways is the first choice you would do for live manipulation absolutely yeah, uh, yeah. stability wise then finding it okay yeah yeah because yeah. eight did go through a bit of a rocky patch yeah no it's it's great now and yeah. I mean I always for the the bigger shows that I run um, I'm doing redundant systems so they're right. perfectly in sync and everything so in case one did one go down out. I'd have the other but yeah. Luckily, I'm not going to wood here. That's never that's happened. What, that's, <laughs> what the, that's what the wood is for. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, any other contenders for that, or it really is in a class of its own? I think it's in a class of its own. I yeah. mean, there's really nothing else out there that mm -hmm. does what it does, and you can just nerd out and geek out for hours <laughs> on it, and just get really deep into it. And there's yeah. just so many different ways to approach it. I just feel. Like my work has got a lot more creative since I started working this way, especially since it's not necessarily in a linear format. You don't necessarily mm -hmm. have to say, okay, uh, left to right, this is how the song's gonna flow. Mm -hmm. It can be more improvisational and you can start and stop different clips at different times yeah. and you know. And I think just controllerism in general, I mean, that's a term that's been mm -hmm. going around for the last couple of years yeah. and there's a lot of controllerists out there and it's becoming more popular. and. Mm -hmm these people are performing in ways that I just never dreamed that they would. And mm. they practice these things like, you know, like a regular instrument. I right. mean, it is an instrument. It is an instrument, And yeah. they're just, it's mind blowing what's, mm. what's going on right now. I'm just thrilled to be, you know, mm. living in this time in this era of this technological advancements. Yeah. And I'm proud to know so many people out there <laughs> that are doing uh, innovative things and just, uh, you know, because mm. they, send me their stuff or tell me about their stuff and it makes me look really good because <laughs> I know about it yeah. before everyone else does. No. Yeah. So no, I, I just, there's so many wonderful people that are involved in this business, in this industry and mm -hmm. they're just doing such innovative things. I'm just very happy. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So um, I think it's time for another song. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Awesome.